This is Nikki Beach Resort in Santorini, a five-star beachfront hotel with direct access to the ocean and a beautiful black sand beach. Nikki Beach is known for its beach clubs around the world, so grabbing a drink and hanging out by the pool at the beach club is a must thing to do while you're here. This resort is also located on the east side of the island, so it has very easy access to the airport. After spending two nights in Ia at an Airbnb, we arrived here at Nikki Beach where we'd spend the next two days before leaving the country. So we just checked in to our suite here at Nikki Beach Santorini. This is actually the honeymoon suite, <laughs> which is fun. And it's gigantic, you guys. I honestly, I was like, oh my gosh, wild when we first walk in. So we basically have a living area with a couch, a TV. We have a little dining table, beautiful decor. And then you walk in, you actually have a floating bedroom, a beautiful bathroom, so much closet space. And then you walk upstairs and then there's a terrace it's just like a giant arrow that kind of overlooks everything. I think they just brought us something. Oh my god, they just brought us a little welcome gift, you guys. I feel very, very much right now. Thank you. Wow. No worries. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. So we just got a knock at the door and they brought us this little charcuterie cheese dessert tray thing with some wine and it's so nice. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna dig in to the platter. Come here, Lisa. At the top we have cheese and then we have fruit and then desserts on the bottom, which is chef's kiss and Greek wine. So this is actually wine from Santorini. Santorini does have over 15 wineries, he was saying. So you can do a wine tour. That's another popular thing to do here. And uh, we're gonna enjoy. Sorry, can Some I? Local wine. And now we feast. Mm. It looks the same. Mm. Honestly, I could mm. live off with cheese. Let's break this in half. Mm. What is this one? I don't know. It's gonna look like we need to bite it. Oh, it's like a parmesan. Oh, I don't know if I love parmesan. Yeah, I don't love hard or old cheeses really. It's too strong. As much. I don't. This looks like a feta. Oh. Oh. What is it? Tastes like nothing. Oh. What is that? Laura Louise's cheese review. I like this, these two. Mm-hmm. Lisa, hurry. Mm -hmm. I can't control myself. <laughs> Lisa's gonna come out with the cheese. Here we go. The wine's really nice too. Mm -hmm. So this right here is an Atlantis White from a winery not too far from here. And it's very good, very fresh, quite dry. Delicious. Hey, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling rather sad in the corner of my We've now come down to the pool here in Nikki Beach, and what's really cool about staying here is that you can actually get into day beds for free, which normally they cost 250 euros to rent for the day. So that's definitely a huge perk. If you are staying at the hotel, it does come with it. So you save some money right there. Boy, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling rather sad.
back at our room now and they don't have a hot tub here. We are all very cold because it is a little windy I find right now. So we are gonna test out the full abilities of the honeymoon suite with us three. <laughs> we are going to try out the tub. This is our hot tub um, because why not? It is friend approved. <laughs> Welcome to our hot tub stream. All right, so I ended up ordering some room service and I got some sushi and then like a little meze platter because I actually have a massage coming to the room, which I am very excited about. Um, it's a two hour massage, very luxurious. It's actually a company that is like, it's outside the hotel, but there was a really good deal on it. So I was like, you know, we're just gonna spoil ourselves. Last massage of the trip. I've only gotten one other one, but it's definitely like a treat yourself kind of day. So what I say to myself whenever, before I do anything expensive. Um, <laughs> even though it's actually not that bad. It's like a hundred euros for two hours, but like a full, full body, including face and head. Anyways, we're gonna get sushi, relax a little bit. And we've been up since sunrise, so I'm getting quite tired. This is the perfect end to the evening. So cheers to that. And I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day at night. We spent the day hanging out in this beautiful villa. We had breakfast this morning at a really great breakfast buffet that is included in your room here. And then we just hung out by the pool, did some work. This place is seriously set up for relaxation, hanging out, recharging. And then we also went back for sunset as well. It was an amazing sunset tonight. That really beautiful cotton candy colored sky, which I feel like you get in Greece all the time. But tonight was honestly, I think the best sunset I've seen this trip so I feel very lucky to be able to experience that and right now we're gonna go for dinner at a Greek spot just down the road because we actually leave Greece tomorrow so we need to get one more Greek meal lots of Greek cheese because I feel like that's why you come to Greece just to fill your body with cheese so let's go do that I have a stick in my hand because we're on the beach <laughs> um, we tried to find the dinner spot and essentially we couldn't. The back road, basically where it said to walk, was like not a road at all. So now we're walking on the beach in the dark. It's pretty dark, so I have a protection stick so I can bite off intruders. Um, anyways, we're like five minutes away, but it's been an adventure, I'll tell you that. got the stuffed peppers with feta cheese and some vegetables and so far this is absolutely incredible. Luisa is eating Saganaki. Guys, I'm being bad and needy again. Okay. <laughs> he said there's no gluten but I don't believe him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Last and final thing we're doing here in Santorini before we leave is we're getting a rapid antigen test because we have to fly through the UK for our next flight. So that's definitely something that's been an adjustment traveling here in Europe is figuring out all the regulations <laughs> and what they are. A lot of countries you don't actually need a um, proof of negative uh, test if you are fully vaccinated, but the UK is pretty strict. They're honestly pretty similar to Canada. So when I go back home, I'm gonna have to do another test. Also show I'm vaccinated and actually as of today, the UK also, even if you get a negative COVID test, if you're not fully vaxxed, you have to quarantine for 10 days. So something to keep in mind, you always want to check with the updated regulations of every country you're going to and check with them often because they do change quite regularly. So anyways, we're going to do this and then we'll get breakfast at our hotel and head out. <laughs> oh god, I just wanna sneeze. Okay. Bye, thank you so much, thank you. Just checked out on Nikki Beach and we're actually on our way back to the airport because we are going back to a country that we have been to. But we are doing it a little different this time. So I'm gonna show you guys that in the next vlog. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.